going to be a uh, digital video tutorial, basic digital video, um, especially steps uh, involving importing your video from your digital video camera into your computer. So, first of all, <clears throat> you have to have a digital video camera. Most likely it's going to be of the variety that uses mini DV tapes. Might look something like that camera right there. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it with my um, particular model of camera, but if you have something else, it should be easy enough, I think, to be able to follow along. Okay, the most important thing for transferring your video to your computer, and what you're going to need, is a firewire cable. Um, this one looks like this. Um, that's the symbol for firewire. The connector, that's the 4-pin connector. If you have a laptop, chances are the laptop's going to have a 4-pin port. Um, most cameras will also have a 4-pin port. I can show you on my laptop right here. It's going to be this little port right there. That's not very in focus, but right there. Um, on my camera, it's going to be hidden beneath this flap where all three connections are. See there's a USB, the middle one's a firewire. That does look the same as the port on my computer. And then um, that's a analog audio video out. So that's also a four pin um, port on the camera and that's what the cable will plug into. Do that. You just plug firewire cable into the port like that and then do the same thing on the computer side of things just plug the cable in like that and then what you want to do is turn on the camera once it's turned on the computer is going to detect it and it's going to pop up the screen asking you what you want to do now since I want to transfer video in that's on my tape actually going to want to first put the camera in playback mode. That's how I do it on mine. It may vary for yours. But then you're going to want to choose uh, an option to import the video with. And um, I'm just going to show you using um, Windows Movie Maker because that should be something that everyone has on a Windows computer. Um, it's going to ask you the name it's just, I'm going to leave it at the default, it's videotape, it's going to ask you where you want to save it, it's going to ask you what kind of format it is in this audio video interleaved file, um, there's also different options if you, you don't want to choose a Windows Media format, it's going to save, it's going to take less space but it's going to be less quality video as well. So the audio video interleaved, which is also known as AVI, that's going to give you the highest quality video uncompressed. It's going to be about 11 gigabytes for every hour of video. So I'm going to choose that. And actually it tells me it's about 13 gigabytes per hour. So that works. And you just click next. It's going to ask if you want to import the entire videotape. Um, or just parts of the videotape. I'm just going to import part. Click next again. And then it's going to give you shuffle controls up here. Um, you can rewind the tape from this interface. And you can actually see that's a live preview of what's on the camera. So when you uh, let go, it'll start playing back. And if you want to uh, start importing it, you just hit the start video import. And it starts playing back and importing from that spot. It's actually imports in real time, so as long as your video is on your tape, it will take that long to import. So say I've uh, imported enough here, so I click stop video import. It's going to stop the camera, stop importing. Then I'm going to click finish because I'm done with that. So now it's imported into Movie Maker. You can play it back right here and watch it actually. So.
you can actually, you know, watch the video playback. And, um, you can take it and drag it into the timeline down here. Once it's in there, you can add transitions if you have multiple clips or anything like that. But then you just want to go over to the side here and, um, go publish to this computer. It's going to give you, ask for the name again. And then there's different compression settings right here. This is where, if you wanted it to be compressed for, you know, YouTube, go to more settings, let's say the VHS quality, that's one megabit per second video. Then you just click publish, and it's going to save out, and it's going to let you know when it's done. Now that it's done, you can click play movie when I click finish, click finish, and the movie will open up in Windows Media Player and start to play. Windows Movie Maker will save it in a Windows Media format, which will, will only play in Windows Movie Maker or Windows Media Player. Um, there you can see right there. And that's a uh, basic tutorial of how to import you know, your video from your digital camera. Um, if you have any more questions, just post them in the comments section.